Hello sports fans and welcome to my Planet Zoo Animal Sports Day Showdown. I have a treat in store for you today with a tightly packed schedule of animal sporty action. So without further ado, let the games begin. So welcome to the games. Our athletes have been training hard to bring home a medal today. These courses will push them to the very limit of their mental and physical endurance. So what do we have coming up? Our main events today include the Tortoise 20 metre sprint, Monitor Lizard Endurance Swim, Peafowl Cross Country Dash, Lima Assault Course, Warthog 20 metre Speed Swim, Mandrel Power Climb, and last but not least, Zebra Derby. I recommend sticking around for that one. We're about ready to start the tortoise sprint, so let's go and take a look at the starting line. Oh, and they're already off. Hope that wasn't a missed start. Looks like both tortoises have made it into the right lanes quickly, though. Both looking physically capable of a win. These little guys, they've been doing laps around their enclosure in preparation for today. And there's the ref. Making sure there wasn't too much of a scuffle at the start, no doubt. If there'd been a problem, they would have called a misstart, though. So in terms of who we're looking at right now, it's Rocky in the right lane and Turbo in the left. It's really hard to say who's in front at this early stage. Looks neck and neck right now. Every step has them level pegging. Rocky has the advantage in size, so he has the power, but will that slow him down as the race goes on? Turbo is lighter and the younger of the two, so that might be an advantage in endurance. There's still a long way to go to the finish line. Let's see if the Nile monitors are ready to go and check back in on the tortoises in a while. Nope, not even in the pen yet. Looks like it won't be too long though. Let's try P-File Dash. P-Files look good to go. Should be starting any moment. So Maze Dash, just as it is the P-Files race to find their way through the hedges, it's a test of speed and intelligence to find the right route. And we're off. Look at this. Ricardo is straight off the starting line. No hesitation. He is killing it. But that's a slow turn around the corner. This could be it for him. Nope, he's off again. And he's left the other competitors in his dust. None of them are even close. This could be a very short race. What are the other competitors even doing? Ooh, uh, that's some baby chicks. They weren't there before. Uh, one of the competitors has given birth on the track. Oh, that'll definitely slow them down. Looks like Ricardo didn't care though. Eyes on the prize. Although he's walking the wrong way now. Hmm, so I guess the chicks are competitors now. Baby Chick 1 is in second place. That's impressive considering they didn't exist 30 seconds ago. Oh, it's off again. Dawson's going for the power sprint. Past the Baby Chick. And with the same enthusiasm and speed as Ricardo. Can he make it all the way around without stopping? Serious feat of endurance if he can. Mm, stopping at slow down corner, figuring out which way he wants to take. Oh, and he's gone for the left turn. That's a little longer than the right, but he must have his reasons. Doesn't seem to be slowing down. This could be it, folks. End of the race. Nope, he lost it. Out of stamina. Serious contender to take first place, but these p don't seem to have the energy to keep up the pace. How are we doing at the back end? There's another baby chick. And the female peahens bringing up the rear. One or both of them have just given birth, so it's understandable they're not feeling as energetic right now. Oh, and look, baby chick number one's giving it a go. Look at the speed on that one. Can a zero days old chick win this race? It's gearing for an overtake, and it's doing it. Overtaking to second place. That is unbelievable. Maybe this chick has what it takes to... Nope, lost it. Out of stamina. It appears we're at a deadlock. All the front runners are winded. Let's see if the Nile monitors are ready with the P-File taking a break. Our lizards are at the starting line. And we're off. 
Early lead by Eduardo there. Closely followed by Matilda. Dave still behind the starting line. Ref making an appearance at the back there, checking it's all above board. A slow but steady start. Fair way to go for our three lizards though. Oh, and David's taking the lead. Eduardo has got turned around in the scuffle. Dave is out in front. Matilda holding a steady in second place. Go on, Dave. You can do it. And Eduardo has realised his mistake. He's back on track, but unfortunately that looks like it's cost him the race. Dave is the clear leader right now, but Matilda's catching him up. There's not a lot in it. Maybe a tail's length. And as we approach the halfway mark, Matilda is taking a tight corner there. She might have an advantage from that. It is such a close call between first and second place. Bit of contact going on there. Not sure if that's allowed. She's definitely getting aggressive. Dave is going to lose a lot of speed if she climbs right over him. And that appears to be happening. And she's in the lead. Matilda's now in first place. Dirty tactics, but it's worked. Oh, and Dave has given up. He'll be calling foul play there. And Matilda is going to take first place. Yep, she has it. That aggressive contact has won out today. And the losers aren't even bothering finishing. Okay, let's check in on Tortoise progress. Oh, and they're at the halfway mark. It's still a close call, but I think Turbo is just in front. Ooh, Rocky does not appreciate the camera in his face. We'll leave them to it and check on the p fouls. Doesn't look like much progress has been made. Dawson appears to be fraternising with a peahen there. That's mating, not racing. Yep, they're mating in the middle of the race. That display of affection's going to cost them. Although maybe that was the peahen's tactics. See, he's going to need a rest after that, giving her the opportunity to go well ahead. Smart move. And the front runner, Ricardo, he's going slow, but he's so close. Just need to turn that last corner and he's on the home straight. Oh, so close. I think he's going to take it. Nope, 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 he's turning around. What's he thinking? Finish lines the other way, love. Turn around. That's it, you can do it. Oh, the concentration needed to get around that corner. He must be completely and utterly exhausted. But I think he's going to do it. Just a few more steps. He's done it. Ricardo wins the maze dash. Well done, Ricardo. That was an exciting race. And we're at the finish line of the 100 metre sprint. Turbo is slightly ahead. Look at that determination on his face. He is powering through this. Just a few more steps and he wins. And there we have it, ladies and gents. Speed trumps power in this battle of the shells. Well done, Turbo. Sorry, Rocky. Better luck next time. Having a well-deserved drink of water now. Okay, next event up is the Lima course. This will be a test of agility and the lemurs are pretty speedy on the frame so it should be a quick race. And we're off. Well, two of them are off. That's Michelle out in front, closely followed by Banjo. Carl at the back here appears to be meditating. You're meant to do that before the start. And Banjo has gone distracted right off the line too. So it's just Michelle out in front, tackling the first platforms with ease. Now interestingly, she's chosen not to use the high beams. That could cost her. And Carl's gone to sleep. That will cost him dearly. Let's see where Michelle's up to. And she is completely ignoring the high beams, taking the ground level route instead. It's a safer option, certainly. But that will have reduced her speed right down. Lemurs are much faster using the climbing apparatus than traversing the grass. So it'll be interesting to see how she tackles the water hazard. 
Um, Banjo's still a non-mover from the start line. And Carl is still comatose. He is definitely out of the race. And Michelle's taking the side route, avoiding the water hazard altogether. Smart move. Well, she best be careful here if she doesn't fall in. Nope, she's taking the route with ease. She's even sped up a bit being out of the grass. And now Banjo's asleep as well. There'll be accusations of doping here. Both contenders out for the count. It is rather suspicious. That other pressure was just too much for those guys. And Michelle is at the final high beam and ignoring it completely again. She's going the cross country route. And has almost completely ignored the assault course. That's just how it goes, I guess. She's still the clear winner, unless one of the boys wakes up and powers over the high beams. Ref is doing a bit of finish line prep there. We don't want Michelle tripping over poop at the last second. And it's the final barrier hazard. Oh, and for the first time she's decided to use the beam here. Now that is some speed. Nope, she's bottled it again. Back to the grass to get over the line. Well, she's got it in the bag. There really was only one competitor in this race. So that's an easy win for Michelle. There we have it, folks. Winner of the Lima Assault Course. Let's move over to the 20 metre Warthog swim. Bit of a kerfuffle going on at the door. And Lulu is straight over the line. Where's she going? She seems to be avoiding the water, which is definitely not in the rules. For a 20 metre swim, she has to swim. No, she's taking the shortcut. And the ref has called it. They'll have to restart. They both have to swim. We'll check out the mandrel climb whilst that's getting set up. And they're all ready to start. And Bilbo is straight off. Look at him go. No hesitation. He clearly came here to win. Past the first stop point. Will he stop at the second? No, he's done it. Straight up there, straight to the top and in record time. He was up there in a matter of seconds. Zero hesitation. This guy knows how to get things done. Three seconds to take that title. What an amazing display of talent. And that's George going for second place. A little slower, but he's still straight up there to the top. These guys clearly know how to get the job done. A very quick power climb event there. Let's check back if the Warthogs are set up again. And Lulu is over the start line. Now let's see if she obeys the rules this time. She has to swim across. She can't just walk along the sides. Bernard there in the back seems to be calculating his route. Looks like they're both assessing the situation rather than jumping straight in. In your own time, piggies. It's not like we're all sat here waiting for you. Maybe a word with the coach will help them figure it out. Well, it seems to have worked. He's inspired Bernard to give it a go. Are we going in? And he's in the drink finally and we're off. Lulu's still a non-mover on dry land. This could mean victory for Bernard. Although he seems to be having a bit of a rest. Careful there, Bernard. You don't want to drown. You know, honestly, I don't think these two are treating this seriously. It's like a holiday camp for them. Have a nice little swim. Lulu over there just talking with the fans. You can sign autographs after the race, Lulu. Oh, Bernard's off again. Eye on the prize. Some serious hoof action propelling him forward. Ah, uh, looks like the ref's back with some edible encouragement there. 
that'll help motivate them forward. And there we go. That has finally encouraged Lulu into the water. Bernard there picking up the pace too. Lulu has a long way to go to catch up though. I think that showboating with the crowd has cost her the race. Although she's powering through now, maybe she can catch up. I don't think that's likely though. Bernard is well out in front. And he's not far from the final approach. He's making a beeline for the edible encouragement, I think. Lulu just treading water there. Oh, and as Bernard approaches the steps, I think he has this. Once he's out the water, it's game over for Lulu. Almost there. He's almost back on land. There we go. Bernard, the winner of the 20 meter swim. Well done, Bernard. Right then, and this brings us to the final race of the Animal Sports Day Showdown, Zebra Derby. And we're off. <laughs> the klaxon appears to have frightened the poop out of some of them, though. They're not going anywhere. No, Domino and Fiona are taking the initiative. It's a slow start. Hopefully we'll pick up pace soon. A domino turning back. Uh, no, that's not racing. Not sure what they're up to. I can't even tell if that's fighting or the um, other thing. Whatever it is, it's not what they should be doing. And Angelo is taking the lead. Fiona and Domino still at a standstill after that display. And it's Napoleon in the rear. Navigating through the first hurdle. Angelo still in front, Domino and Fiona still very close in second and third, and Napoleon appears to have stopped. Oh, he's turning back. Maybe he thinks he left the stove on back home. And it spooked the other competitors too. So we're changing the leaderboard there. Domino is now in front, Angelo and Fiona are turning back, and Domino is powering ahead. Although he appears to have stopped now too. Hmm. This is not exactly the exhilarating zebra race I had planned. I'm going to watch these guys and cut back when it picks up the pace. Okay, like 20 minutes later and nothing has happened. Domino is still in front by a wide mark. The other zebras have decided to set up base camp at the second hurdle. So it looks like Domino is our only contender at this point. Let's take a look. Oh, and there's life in him yet. Did you see that jump? That's the most action we've seen all day. He is out of here. Oh, and he's foiled by the hedge. There's no point shouting at it. Either jump it or go around. Stamping your feet is not going to make the barrier disappear. He needs to get his head in the game. He's our only chance of finishing this thing. The others, well, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. Domino's our only hope. And away. Oh, what a jump. And it's a sprint over the finish line. I agree, Domino. What an excellent effort. Well done. Now, stop complaining and have yourself some victory, hey? So I really doubt the other zebras are going to finish here. They're still camped out at the second hurdle. Yeah, look at them. No interest at all. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, no. Um, Napoleon has taken a long rest there. Hmm. And on that note, that concludes Animal Sports Day Showdown. I hope you've enjoyed today's events. It was so fun pulling this all together. Well, I say fun, it was also pretty frustrating. They say don't work with children or animals. I guess that holds true for video game animals too. So please leave a comment if you've enjoyed this. And if you haven't already, drop a sub so you can see when my new videos come out. Planet Zoo 
is offering me like endless ideas for fun new stuff to do. So I'm going to have loads of this sort of stuff out on my channel. I mean, come on, Animal Sports Day, that's hilarious. I, I was going to call it the Zoo Olympics, but can't do that. Copyright reasons. Anyway, I'll stop my rambling now. As always, cheers for watching. Bye for now.